Hey folks, Jason here from the Trust. Hey, I'm here at our sprinkler riser here at the Trust, and I uh, just want to talk to you today about your sprinkler risers and what you have to do to make sure they work if a bad thing ever happens. Fire suppression systems can allow our staff to make a safe escape from a burning building, and they work to suppress flames until fire crews can respond. So this riser behind me is the way that water gets up to your sprinklers in the event that a fire ever happens. Fire alarm systems and suppression systems need to be inspected and maintained at least annually by a qualified professional. Any part of the system that fails inspection must be immediately repaired or replaced. If your sprinkler system must be turned off or impaired, notify your management and keep a fire watch until the system is restored. Qualified technicians will make sure your pressures meet your system's requirements and then flow your system to ensure adequate flows and pressures are maintained. Additionally, alarm systems will be tested to ensure a notification goes out when the fire suppression system activates. Besides professional inspections and maintenance, you are responsible to keep the area around your sprinkler risers clean and accessible. Risers that aren't monitored by an alarm system must be locked to prevent tampering, and they must be frequently checked to ensure that they're functional. You should have a sufficient number of replacement sprinkler heads for the size of your system and a wrench nearby your sprinkler riser. You should regularly check that your system meets NFPA requirements. The area below your sprinkler heads must be maintained clear for at least 18 inches. Sprinkler heads need to extend far enough through the ceiling that their flow is unobstructed. Discussions must be tightly in place. Remember, all ceiling tiles must be in place for your fire suppression system to properly protect your building. While you're doing your inspections, don't forget to check out the standpipes that connect the fire department to your sprinkler system. The caps need to be in place and you need to keep debris out of the pipes. Well, folks, I hope you've learned a little bit about sprinkler risers today, and you'll take the opportunity to go out and uh, get these inspected. Check the dates and make sure it's been within the last year that it's been inspected and maintained. If it hasn't, get, in, get on the phone with that contractor and get them out there to inspect those, and let's protect our buildings.